Today I'm sharing with you how to do a voiceover on your yoga videos. So I'm actually in iMovie right now and this comes with any Mac computer. You can also download it for free on your iPhone or iPad. So iMovie is a very simple, very basic video editing software. It comes free on Mac computers. There's other programs out there that are comparable that you can use for uh, Android or Windows computers, but it's going to be basically the same concept. So it might look a little bit different, but the concept is the same. A voiceover is when you talk over the top of your video. Let's say if you don't have a good microphone or if you're sharing a practice that would, you know, it's hard to talk at the same time that you're doing it. So you want to talk afterwards. And also great if you know something messes up with your audio and you still want to use that video it was a great practice you can talk over the top it's also great for tutorials and other things like shorter videos if you would like so here we go i've got let's say i've got a video and um, in imovie here you've got this is my media my media list so this is a lot of the, the things i've already imported they just sort of stay there until i delete them so i don't have anything right here um, in my project, which would be right here. Um, I can import some media. So if I have a video that I took on my phone or if I took it on a camera, I would import it and I would hit this down button and, and then I could pick the folder that I want to find my video. And this is actually a lot where a lot of my videos already are. So I could import them. And if you hit the shift key, you can actually import multiple. If you hit the command key, you can import ones not in a straight line. So you can import multiple videos. You can also import photos and audio files. So we're not gonna import anything because I've already have a bunch of stuff. This is an hour long practice. Let's say that I wanted to do a voiceover over this hour long practice. I would highlight it and hit the plus button and it comes down into my project. And of course, the first thing I wanna do is trim anything or crop anything. This looks pretty good. I could go through and do some editing, but I'm not going to, cause that's not the purpose of this tutorial. Um, so what you're going to see though, I'm gonna drag this out. So um, this bar actually zooms in and out. So this shows you the full hour, but it doesn't get you precise if you wanna click on a specific spot. So if you drag this out, you're able to see a little bit more. And these in this blue bar underneath the video is going to be your audio section. So this is the audio that's attached to the video. Now you'll see these two arrows that pop up. You can drag it down and up. You can make the audio zero. Let's say you're taking off the audio. You can also bump it up to 400, which would be quite loud and blown out, or you keep it at 100 or wherever. So it depends on um, how loud your audio was captured. You might wanna boost it up or down. But let's say that you didn't like the audio or something not so great happened with it. A couple ways you can delete the audio is number one, you can drag it down to zero. You can also go up to this modify button and hit mute audio. You can also go up to the, uh, and then you can't drag anything too, right? So you can also go up to modify and detach the audio. So the audio is now down here, but there's nothing there because we muted it. So I'm gonna hit the undo button, that's command Z. And again, click on this entire file to highlight it. When it's got the yellow around it, it's highlighted. I'm going to detach the audio. And now when I do that, you see that it's on the bottom. So I can again, boost it down, turn it up. Uh, the red means it's a little bit blown out. So I might wanna actually turn it down a little bit. But let's say, again, we're not using this audio. Remember, we're doing a voiceover. So after that, I could delete it. Just hit the delete key after highlighting it. Boom, I've got no audio. And now I wanna do a voiceover. If this red button does not appear underneath your screen up here, you'll click this right here, this little microphone guy. And this is a voiceover, record voiceover. And you'll wanna make sure that this bar is at the place you wanna start your voiceover. So let's say I wanna start right here. I'm going to then hit the red button and it will count down for me. Three, two, one. And then clasp your hands together and fold forward. So take your gaze down towards your toes and let your head hang loose as your arms come up behind you.
Okay, so I don't have to go through and do the voiceover the entire length of the video without stopping. I can do it one at a time. So I did this little section and let's say I have a little bit of a pause here so I don't need to say anything for a couple seconds. I'm going to then start the next section right here. I could do another voiceover. And stay here in this forward fold until you feel super comfortable and stay here for 10 minutes or whatever you want to say in this pose. And again, there we go. So I've got that. And just to share with you a couple things about this clip, if you want to drag it in and just crop it, you can drag it or you can um, take your line, your bar, just like you would on the video, but you're highlighting over the audio section, do a little right click and split the clip and that way you can delete portion of it or you can drag it in to crop it. So you can edit the audio like that too. Let's say you said something you're not really fond of. You might wanna just cut right in the middle, split the clip, split the clip, and in this middle section, either delete it or drag it down. You're like, I don't, I, I said a swear word, let's just take that out, boom. Or you wanna do a voiceover over something that you didn't like that you said. So, okay. That's how we do voiceovers. And if you end up like doing a voiceover right here, the audio, let's actually, I'll show you that. The audio is going to, the next audio is actually going to come down here and be at the bottom because it's overlapping. So just want to let you know that. So you can drag it and move it back up or you can keep it overlapping, not a problem. Okay, another way that you're going to do voiceovers. Um, so I'm going to delete that and let's say you want to do a voiceover separately from this software or your editing software. You can actually take two files, so a video file and another video file or an audio file and combine them together. Let's say you did them both on your phone. So on this uh, recording, I've got this. So maybe just imagine I've got my phone right next to me. And my phone has a great microphone. So I want to use my phone for my voiceover instead of attaching it to my computer like someone who is smart would do. I'm just going to record directly into my phone. So I open up my camera app to take a video because I know there's an audio attached to the video and I just set my camera down, my phone down, and it records a video of the ceiling as I'm talking and as I'm watching this. So I will be talking into my phone and it's recording a uh, a random video of, I don't know, my table or the ceiling. And I'm going to split those apart to just take the audio into this, into this um, software and connect them. You can also just make a voice memo, which is actually more smart than doing a video, but I didn't know it back then. I would take just a video and then attach it later. So you can take a voice memo and um, send that audio file to your computer and import it. So then you would hit the import button, find your audio file. It's usually a .mp4 or no, just kidding. It's a .mp3 or um, some sort of audio file, whatever it is, it'll work. So you bring it in. Um, and let's say it was a video because you're not as smart as Ashley is now. You're kind of me in the past, which, you know, me in the past worked really well. Uh, so um, let's say it's this video that I took. It's not actually this video, but let's say it's this video I took. I want to take the sound from it. So I'll put this on top, make sure it's highlighted, or I could even do it here. Modify, I would detach the audio. Okay, I can't do it from this section. I have to do it down here. So I highlight it and hit the detach audio. And I can get rid of this video file then. So the video is whatever. I, it, it could be a video of my phone looking at the ceiling. I would delete it. And now I've just got the audio. And I got to make sure that it's um, at the right you know, place. So you might do some sort of signal or you'll just have to listen to where your cues are compared to your body. And, and now this, this audio is on top. It's not going to match at all. Listen to this. But add this little sway side to side actually right now because you'll feel like Yep, that's, that's really not what I'm doing in this video at all, but uh, that's a way you could do it. All right. And of course you can go through and cut anything or delete or edit. This is through iMovie. So I'm gonna come back here. Oh, let's drag that over. Um, this looks a little loud, let's bring it down. 
And that's that. I would export this then or file share. I could share it to as a file or I could actually that's what I usually do. I go share as a file and I can save it as um, 520 or 7, 720 or 540, which depends on the quality you want. This is an estimated 5.6 gigabytes. I don't actually think it'd be that that big. I think it'd be a little bit less than that, um, but I can also lower it a little bit. Um, but you know, three gigabytes and five gigabytes is a big file. This is an hour long. Uh, I don't, I don't really recommend doing voiceovers for really long classes because it takes so much time. So if you're going to do voiceovers, keep them to your shorter classes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. In fact, if you're doing classes in general for the internet, you don't need full length yoga practices. More people are going to be apt to viewing your 15 to 20 minute or even 30 minute practices compared to hour long. This just happens to be a recording of um, a replay of my studio class, but I try to keep my, my actual just recordings about 30 minutes or less. And that's how you do a voiceover using iMovie or using your phone or using any kind of connecting a video and an audio together. I hope that was helpful. Uh, go play with it. Now there's a lot of different softwares you can use for video editing. You actually cannot do this in the YouTube editor, at least that I saw, not easily. And I don't recommend using the YouTube editor anyway, unless you absolutely have to do something. I'll actually show you that for a second. So this is a YouTube editor. Oops, hit the back button. Boom, forward. The YouTube editor gives you very little that you can do. So I'm, I'm gonna make this bigger so you see where I'm at. So I went to YouTube, hit the YouTube studio, YouTube studio, and then I found a video, and then I hit the editor button in the video. So what this going, is going to allow me to do is add music, and YouTube does have some music available. Um, I can trim, so I can trim the edges, and I can blur out any sections. Let's say you, someone's face didn't wanna be seen, or you had a logo that you shouldn't have had, or something. So you can blur out um, places in your video, which I have never done before, and add an end screen. So there's not a whole lot you can really do with this. Very minimal, but it's it's great if you accidentally forget something or mess up and you need to, a quick splash of, of editing after you've uploaded a YouTube video. Okay, but you don't need to upload all your videos to YouTube. You can use them for Facebook, for a membership, for whatever you want. And if you do add music to your videos, that's one more thing. Let's see. You can layer this underneath your audio. So this is music. I got this one from epidemicsound.com. Um, I pay for their subscription now, but you can get free music from YouTube. You can get free royalty free music from a lot of places and a lot of more places are popping up too. This is only one minute and nine, uh, 1.9 minutes. So it's not going to fill the whole thing, but if I add it, it will show up underneath, underneath my audio and it's going to be kind of loud. So I would typically drag this down to even like 3%, percent 4 5 you'll just have to compare it. You have to play it back and see what your voice compared to the video sounds like or the uh, voice compared to the music sounds like to see if it's a good um, volume. So you can turn up yourself or you can turn down the music. So that's up to you. And these little guys is a dimming effect. So it's going to slowly fade out. So this is fading out and fading in. If you drag these guys over and you can you know, crop it, bring it in, you can split the clip and delete part of it. Same here. Let's see, I didn't want this section because I said some weird things. Delete that, add a new voiceover, go. Shake out your... Oh, well, I'm just walking around here. Sit back down. So there's my voiceover, but this this is one I did last. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I think you get the hang of it. You get the gist of it. That is how to do a voiceover. There's so much little intricacies you could you could end up doing, and you can spend a lot of time with this. I still recommend getting a microphone for when you are practicing your classes because it's going to save you a lot of time rather than having to do voiceovers all the time or edit your audio. That's it.